Hi, I'm Pastor Andy, and uh, one of the fun things we've been doing over the past six months here at church is different ways of doing video, video devotionals, videos in the morning, uh, videos in the evening, having online worship and videos for worship. And we're going to try something new now that the program year has started again uh, in the evening uh, with just a brief word on video from Emily or myself or Kate. And we don't know quite what we're going to call it yet. We're just calling it right now something new at seven. And we're going to put these on Facebook and we're going to put them on YouTube. And all that we can say about them is that at 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, uh, there's going to be a word from the church and from one of us. And it'll typically include scripture and then just a brief kind of devotional piece, a brief uh, kind of commentary on what the word means for everyday life. Like Andy said, we just had so much fun at the beginning of this time apart, just coming into your homes kind of in a new way uh, and sharing a message of, we hope it was a message of inspiration and hope and just centering our lives on, on who Christ is and who Christ is for us. And we are just so excited to be able to do that again. And again, um, 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, uh, watch for the videos on Facebook and on YouTube. So we hope you'll join us, and I think it'll be fun, and we'll find out. All that we can promise is they're going to be short. Sometimes I've said that before, and they're not quite as short as we'd like, but uh, I think the one that we're having in just a moment, stay tuned for the first one, is about three to four minutes. And with that, let us share a word of prayer. Good and gracious God, thank you so much for just the gift of your word, uh, our opportunity to study it and to share it and to spread it with others. Uh, guide our hearts and our minds as we put these studies together, as we share this time together to center us uh, in your kingdom. In your holy and awesome name we pray. Amen. Rest for your souls. Reading from Matthew 11, the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew 11, do a short reading from the book Soul Keeping by John Ortberg, where he reflects on this passage. In the Bible, God never gives anyone an easy job. God never comes to Abraham or Moses or Esther and says, I'd like you to do me a favor, but it really shouldn't take much time. I wouldn't want to inconvenience you. God does not recruit like someone from the PTA. He's always intrusive, demanding, exhausting. He says we should expect that the world will be hard and that our assignment will be hard. The Bible does use the word easy, however, once. It came from Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Easy is a soul word, not a circumstance, not an assignment word. Aim at having easy circumstances and life will be hard all around. Aim at having an easy soul and your capacity for tackling hard assignments will actually grow. The soul was not made for an easy life. The soul was made for an easy yoke. He got together with a great or years ago, a Christian psychiatrist named Frank Lake worked with many people who wanted to serve noble causes, but the stress and demands and difficulties got to them, and soon they became drained and bitter and cynical and discouraged. He got together with a great Swiss theologian, Emil Brunner, and they began to reflect on the life of Jesus in the Gospels. Jesus faced enormous stresses and difficulties and pain, yet he never got sarcastic or cynical, or unloving, or burnt out. No one took away his joy. When they looked at Jesus' life, they saw a pattern to it. 
different from the pattern of the lives of the missionaries Frank saw burning out. All human beings face challenge and pain and demands. Jesus, however, lived in a divine rhythm where grace was constantly flowing into him and then flowing out from him. We'll take a moment to listen to the stream. And now the mosquitoes have come out, so I'm going to end this talk.